I think it's on my turtles. Hey, turtles. It's Saturday and it's time to show my stash. Okay, I know I said I was going to go see my grandbaby today. Things change. I cannot go see my new grandbaby yet because of COVID. Mama and Daddy wants to be COVID-free, no visiting. We can go see them if we want to, but we have to go take another COVID test, and we're not going to do that. So, we're going to do Shop My Sash, because I was going to save the city over Sunday if we were going to see my grandbaby. We would be up there seeing my grandbaby right now. But anyway, talk about this palette right here. This is the BH Cosmetic Palette. I just wanted to let y'all know that this shade right here, I panned it today, this morning. I already had one, two, three, four, five shades panned. I panned an extra shade. I'm very proud of myself for panning that shade. And this shade's almost gone. And I actually used it today, so it's almost gone. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Getting into makeup that I was using. I was using these LA color lips and I decided I'm just was going to get rid of some of them and throw some away and then keep some which I did do that already but I was going to I'm wearing the purple one today and my husband said your lips look good with that purple one don't get rid of that right now so I'm not going to get rid of these I'm actually going to keep these and I'm actually going to put them in here with my liquid lips in the basket I have these two lips, this Maybelline and CoverGirl that I was using. I really don't care for the CoverGirl, but I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to keep them in here with my lipsticks drawer. I was using the Fit Me foundation. I am going to keep using this foundation again. I do like it. I want to use it. It is perfect. And I'm going to try to see about picking up another one. That needs to stay over here. Some more products I panned this morning. I actually panned this too. And I do want to pick another one up. I was telling my husband. I said look I panned this. But I want to pick another one up. And that is this. Maybelline blush. Y'all can see. I know y'all can barely see. Where I'm at. My lighting's not so good right now. So. That is another one. This one's going up. But I panned it and I'm very excited. Because I got another blush i want to try um when i do my next shop my stash which won't be next weekend but the following weekend i'm going to try to pick out stuff that's been panned to try to use and make it either bigger pan or use it up so i may have something in that project this week that i pan or i've already panned and i want to use it again but i want to go ahead and put this one up and get another blush out Y'all, I pan. if you watched, I think I put this in my Friday Fate video, and I talked about it. I did pan this. I'm keeping this one back in my collection because I want to use it some more. I love it. Because I did not pull out another bronzer. I was using this little eyeshadow, and as you can tell, I got a big dip in it. So I'm putting this green one up and I'm going to bring another one out. The Full and Soft Maybelline Mascara. This is my favorite. I want to buy this mascara. I told my husband yesterday actually that I want to buy two of these, three of these mascaras. And he goes, three? Why three? I said, one's for me. I want to get one for my daughter-in-law and let her try it out. I don't know if she wears makeup, but if she does, let her try it out or she can just wear some mascara. And I want to get it for my stepdaughter. She was actually over yesterday. Okay, my neighbor's dogs are barking. Not yesterday, but Thursday. It was Thursday and when I told my husband. Because we were out and about shopping. But we didn't get them yet. Still keeping this one used. This is the only eyeshadow primer I have. And I told my husband I need to pick up some more eyeshadow primer. And, of course, he says, we'll see, we'll see. These are the two concealers. I'm going to keep these out and use them. This color, LA Color Color Concealer, I did use it today. I've been using it for the, for the past three days. But I'm also thinking I might, if we go to Dollar Tree again, 
pick up another one of these. Not for a concealer, but for eyeshadow primer and use it as an eyeshadow primer. This um, L'Oreal True Match Concealer, it's in W45. It is my shade, but I don't like this concealer. I'm sorry, L'Oreal, but I've been trying to get on L'Oreal's PR package. So it's like, but it's hard. Um, the Maybelline Baby Skin, I this makes my face smooth as a baby's butt. I loved it for so long, and then I hated it because it's jelly. But I'm actually liking it. I'm starting to like it again, but it's not something I buy all the time and keep in my makeup collection, but I will have it in there. Okay, the AO AOA Perfect. This is setting powder. I was using this for my face as face powder. I'm going to go ahead and put this back up because it's white. And I was using this highlighter, and as you could tell, I did use quite a bit. I love this highlighter. I'm going to put that back up. Quit chewing my shoe. My dog is chewing my shoe. This is a Wet n Wild palette I was using. It is in Project Pan, and I pan the shade. So the only thing about this is in Project Pan, I want to get it panned, but if I can get it finished by the end of the year, which would be fine, because I have here these back in here because I'm using them too. I have in here some this little drawer here. It's got my project pan little palettes that I use for project pan. I have a palette that's not in project pan but I've but I have a shadow that I did pan and I want to finish try to get that shadow done. Okay I am going basket so dirty i'm going to use my position formula again for brow i'll go ahead and keep that and use it and then i have this l'oreal inflammable eyeliner i'm not going to use that i'm going to put that one back up and the l'oreal foundation i was using i'm putting it back i love this foundation it is the bomb and i've heard lots of people talk about this is a good shade for the summertime I used it in the winter time, and I'm using it in the summertime because I'm fixing to be. I look white right now, but I'm fixing to start tanning this summer. So I need to get. I got a self tanner. I want to see what I can do with my husband and I, and I want to tan my body. I want to get tan and be good. So, and we go for that. Let's get into this project. First thing is the LA Color Audio Liner. I will be using that for my eyes. The LA Color Road Rage for blush. It's in the shade Ridiculous. Right? I don't have my glasses to read it. So hang on a second. Let me get my glasses. If I can read these, shut your mouth. I went to Kroger's yesterday, and I should have picked me up some Funyuns, and I didn't. Oh, Bodacious. This is in the shade Bodacious. <laughs> I'm like, I can't read that good. Bodacious. Um, very soft. Very beautiful. I do like it a lot. So, and just so y'all can see the back of it. And these are nice blushes. I wanted to get them all. I had a lot. Got rid of some of them. Wanted to get more. This is in Ice Latte. And this is by L'Oreal as well. An Ice Latte looks like this. A really dip. I do use this one a lot. I sometimes see myself playing with my makeup and I reach for this and I just put it on my eyes. I've even used this for highlighter and I've even used it in the corner of my eyes. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. This is new to my collection. Um, I got this Glamorous Diamonds. This has been in um, 
I think Vogue magazine has a product shown in a magazine and a Glamour magazine. The Glamour magazine is what it was. And this is what it looks like. And it's in Diamond Blaze. Is the shade Diamond Blaze. This is, it says number one, but I think the shade would be Diamond Blaze. Yes, I know. My dog is so barking. I'm going to do a small swatch. Oh, snap. I did way, way, way. Way too much on my eye. I did too much. But that's what it looks like. I like dumped it over. <laughs> this whole ring inside is like full of it. So this will be out. I'll be using this. It is beautiful. And it's a beautiful shade that you can use for a highlighter. But I'm going to use it on my eyes as well. For mascaras, I'm using the LA Color Perfect Curve. And if you heard me talk about this, I did am doing a giveaway for people I'm subscribed to. I will announce the winners eventually when I get the basket <laughs> get the box full. I have a person already picked out to win box number one. And I will let y'all know. But this is one of them that is in here, one of my favorite mascaras. In these giveaway boxes, if I'm in if I am subscribed to your channel, you have a chance to win. One of my giveaway boxes. I will be doing this like every year. But I'm only going to pick two winners. This time I picked four winners. No. Five winners. But I have five people I picked out. And my husband's like do it one winner at a time. Don't send all five of them at once. But I am buying products for all the boxes. So in one box I see it's totally full. Which I have one almost full. I'll be giving it. Giving it send it to that person. For face primers, I'm using the Master Blur Stick by Maybelline. It's Pore Primer. Pore Priming Primer. And it's just a white stick. There's not a lot. But I want to try a stick primer and see what it's like. So instead of buying a high-end like um, Anastasia or... Huda Beauty or something like that. Try a drugstore brand and see what it's like. And see. That way you can go out and buy a bigger one and compare them. The noise in the background. My dog's barking. The neighbor across the street is cutting the grass. And the dog is barking. I got two lipsticks here by L'Oreal. That I'm definitely going to be using. This one is definitely new. This one is in the shade... 620 and this is what the shade looks like if you can see that i will swatch it and it is right there very beautiful i cannot wait to use this my dog will not shut up i have this one here which is ginger spice in 815 i have been using this one a while it's another beautiful shade these shades are so pretty. I have a L'Oreal shade lipstick that I want to get for a friend that I'm actually subscribed to. And she's a friend of mine on YouTube. I think that color would look so gorgeous on her lips. I love the way she does her makeup. And I think that would look so gorgeous on her lips. So I have two of these. These two. Well, this one's not. This one's a new one. This one's 130. And I can't think. See the name of it. It's shade number 130. Ugh. And it's beautiful. And I thought this was a very, very beautiful shade as well. I love these things. I want to buy. I want to get them all. <laughs> so let me put this one in here. Then I have this one here. Which is number 50, which is Wolger. And I already had this one, so I had to throw it away because it went bad. So I bought a backup of Voyager. And when I told, I went in there, showed my husband the, the wand of this, and he smelt it. I said, yeah, I use this a lot. And I do use this one a lot in my makeup collection. When I do my shop, my stash, I usually reach for that one a lot. And I told him I need to put it in my Backup. 
This is the Elf by Chice Eyeshadow Palette in Truffle. I pan this shade because I do re reach for this one. This isn't one that I like, but I did like this shade. I did pan this shade here. So I'm actually going to keep this out instead of getting one out of shop my stat. I mean, out of my project pan. My goal for this one is to use up that shade. I don't really care for the truffle. But I like these little L palettes, but there's only certain ones I want. That is one I do not want. Now I have my Aris Bond, the new Aris Bond Loose Highlighters. I have two of them. But this one I want to use as face primer. Because it would be prettier as a face primer on my face. And that way if I don't want to wear a highlighter. And it's gorgeous. You see that? It's, it's right here. And it's so gorgeous. That way I don't have to use a highlighter if I don't want to. And I have this all over my face. It's going to make my face look gorgeous. And then I have the loose highlighter by Aerospawn, which is in pink. And I was going to use this as blush, but I'm going to try this one out too. It is gorgeous. It is pink. It is so beautiful. So, I'll be doing that. So, that way I can test it out. I'm using that as foundation just to check it out. To see about using it for different other things. That is it for this um, shop. My stash. I... Oh, no, it's not. I forgot. One thing I forgot. I ain't forgot the CoverGirl Clean Mate BB Foundation. It was sitting right there. This is the foundation that I will be using. I don't have any in bottles, but I do have them in here. I don't have very many foundations, but that is another foundation. I think I used it already once, but it's another foundation that I will definitely, definitely be using. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as I loved making it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you are new to my channel. I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Until next time, guys, I love y'all and hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye, guys.